Welcome! I'm proud to introduce you to the new volumetric three component velocimetry or V3V system. The V3V system measures the instantaneous flow velocity field within a three dimensional or volumetric region of the flow. Here you are seeing an example of the V3V system measuring the flow structure behind a model airfoil. A laser illuminates a volumetric region within the flow and the V3V camera probe captures a series of images that are analyzed to determine the instantaneous flow velocity at tens of thousands of individual points within the measurement volume. One key aspect of the V3V system is the patented camera probe which views the flow through three separate apertures. Here is an animation of the composite image as viewed by the camera probe. Individual tracer particles in the flow appear as a triangle or triplet pattern when viewed through the three apertures. The XY particle locations can be determined by the center of the triangle shape and the depth position can be determined by the size of the triangle. This is the InSight V3V system software showing the particle field from a single instantaneous V3V measurement. Within the 14 cm by 14 cm by 10 cm measurement volume, particle positions are determined to within 20 microns in the xy directions and 80 microns in the depth direction. The typical human hair is usually between 20 microns and 100 microns. The velocity is determined by measuring the distance that the tracer particles travel in a known amount of time between the laser pulses. It's difficult to see in this form but each of the particles is now replaced with a small arrow showing the direction and magnitude of the local flow velocity. For typical V3V measurements, there are generally between 10,000 and 30,000 individual measurement points within the volume. In order to calculate other properties of the flow and to visualize the flow field in more detail, the system software has now calculated the velocity field on a regular grid pattern from the randomly spaced particle velocities. Advanced analysis and visualization algorithms are now used to display various properties of the flow. We are now looking at surface plots of a flow property called vorticity calculated from the velocity field. The vortex shedding event shown here is important to engineers because it contributes to the forces on the wing and the overall performance of an aircraft. Due to the unique ability of the new V3V system, these are the first measurements to show the instantaneous three-dimensional structure of the flow behind an airfoil within such a large volume. Notice the complex three-dimensional structures within the flow. Past measurements have been limited to either point or planar regions within the flow, and it is a significant advantage in advance for scientists and engineers to be able to measure and to visualize the flow within a true volume. This next measurement example shows the exit of an impulse jet where a short burst of fluid driven by a piston is pushed out of a tube. This results in the formation of a vortex ring which is a toroid or donut shaped structure of swirling fluid. These are the V3V measurements of the randomly spaced individual particle velocities. And these are the velocities calculated onto a uniform grid pattern. Next is an animation that shows the development of the vortex ring with time as it moves away from the jet. The red toroid shape is a surface plot of vorticity magnitude and the yellow lines are called streamlines which are calculated from the velocity field and show the local paths of fluid motion. I would like to thank you very much for taking the time to review the V3V system with me. The V3V system is a great leap forward in flow measurement techniques and will be the workhorse of fluid mechanics research for the next decade or more. And I was very happy to introduce the system to you.